What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Stephon Black Zed, and it's been a while since I made a video like this, but I'm back, and I'm in the cut. Now, before we get started, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and tap that notifications bell for more daily content. Music, please. So today's video, <clears throat> we're gonna be. I'm gonna be, read you an article from comicbook.com called "Dragon Ball Z Gets Reimaged Samurai Style." Now, I can actually see a Toriyama doing something like this. Ever since Masashi Kishimoto is um, making the manga, the new manga called Samurai Eight, I can't wait to see that uh, come out. But it says right here, <clears throat> the only thing that's become more iconic than the stunning imagery of Dragon Ball Z, these various uh, characters and transformations, are the variations on those looks and transformations that fans have created since the series have ended. The Dragon Ball Z series is what they're talking about. <clears throat> Case in point, check out one of Dragon Ball's fan art fan artists who have come up by mixing the lore of Dragon Ball Z with, with that of Japan's history, Samurai Warriors. Take a look at this. You have Samurai Goku, Samurai Vegeta, Samurai Chunks, and Samurai Broly. Can you believe how... Now, how exclusive would that be? A new Dragon Ball series, but in samurai style. Here's my forty dollars. Give me, give me, give me the manga. Just give it to me. <clears throat> uh, through the artwork originates with Kenji eight eight nine three at Deviant Art. It's since been making the rounds on Reddit as fans have spotted and appreciated. By going the Going by the Reddit post, we have Goku looking like every bit of the Ronin type, type samurai that you probably expect him to be. Unkempt hair and <clears throat> and all. Being Goku, he naturally doesn't favor a whole lot of armor, but he does carry most of the blades. With two swords on his hip and one on his back. <clears throat> Vegeta, by contrast, looks every bit like the fit like the official feudal samurai that is fitting his princely stature the armor is not only very regal but also fits perfectly with vegeta's traditional costume color scheme the traditional samurai not top of style is just the icing on the cake the ninja samurai designed for trunks already went viral earlier this year when kenji 893 debuted it on social media the the Depiction of Future Trunks makes the character look <clears throat> like a shinobi worthy of the Naruto series with a combination of, of ninja accents and weapons and traditional samurai or armor. Being Trunks, he carries one icon, iconic blade, but this time with a katana. Now, how cool would it be to see Trunks with a katana? I'm down to see it. <clears throat> and finally, we have Broly. This artwork takes the new version of Broly introduced in Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie and uses <coughs> excuse me and uses him as the basis for the samurai reimaging. Broly's samurai here is a nice echo of his wild berserk saiyan hairstyle and his physique is in keeping with the anime's design <coughs> for the for the burly bruiser and ronin architect type. His massive and very chipped broad sword blade is a perfection expression of um, Broly's unbridled, unbridled, unbridled destruction rage in the actual series. The look on his eyes is pure. So that does it for this video. Also, <clears throat> as a reminder, Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie is coming out to Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy, copy of course. The day after my birthday, so it's April 16th, for those of you who don't know. But thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.